Mariam Shaman was bringing her sick son to Saint Chobel, but the child died in her arms on the way. The distraught woman made it to the grave of the holy hermit and laid her dead son next to his casket. In tears, she begged for rescue. Seeing this situation, Father Elias was deeply moved. He opened the coffin of Saint Chobel, washed his hands with water, and using the incense spoon, poured this water into the mouth of the dead child. After a short time, the child started breathing normally. The witnesses were overcome with amazement. Father Elias picked the child up and gave him back to his mother, who, seeing that he was hungry, began breastfeeding him. The revived boy grew up to be a fine healthy and strong man, as well as being an enthusiastic Catholic. After the birth of her eldest daughter, Mariam Zuwain fell ill, with a mysterious illness, which left her completely paralyzed, and in great pain. For three months, she couldn't eat anything, and drank only milk and other fluids. One day, a Muslim woman, came to her house begging for alms. She told Mariam about the grave of Father Chobel, in the monastery of Saint Marin, and that thanks to the intercessions of the deceased hermit, great miracles were occurring there. Mariam resolved to visit the grave. Mariam's husband hired a mule-drawn carriage. After an all-day trip, the couple finally arrived at the monastery and immediately made their way to Father Chobel's grave. With all her strength, the patient begged for such healing that she would be able to return home on foot. Seeing the woman's great suffering, one of the priests was moved with pity and told her, trust and maintain strong faith. Today you will be healed. He brought some of the fluid that flowed from Saint Chobel's body as well as the saint's monastic habit. Her body was wiped with the fluid and the habit. Mariam immediately felt better. The pain began to depart, and the paralysis diminished. Finally, the woman stood up on her own legs and began to walk. She was completely healed. Tanis Shade, a worker at the monastery farm, became seriously ill. For seven years, he constantly had pain in his throat, hips and shoulders. The doctors were helpless. One day, in front of the monastery, he met pilgrims who were coming to Saint Chobel's grave to pray for their return to health. Tanis began to mock them. You're dim-witted. When did Father Chobel become a saint? One of the travelers said, Pray to Father Chobel, and he will heal you. Tanis became agitated and replied, Do I need to ask this stupid monk for healing? I don't believe in his holiness. I'd rather ask a donkey for healing than him. Then he went off to work in the fields. When he returned home, he saw a monk passing by, dressed in a habit with a cane, and a stole over his shoulders. After a moment, he recognized that it was the deceased Father Chobel, who smiled, and asked him a question. What did you say about me today? Tanis answered in a trembling voice, I was only joking, but please Father, heal me. He bowed to Father Chobel, imploring. My father, I beg you. At this moment, he was struck painfully with the cane, and heard the words, Father Chobel is stupid, is he? But from that moment, Tanis was completely healed, and Saint Chobel disappeared.